Today we are checking out the Dell WD22TB4 dock. We'll go over what's included in the box, available ports, and connected to a Windows and Mac OS laptop. This dock is what the university started using as an update to the Dell WD19TBS dock. In the box you will find the dock, power adapter, and power cord. On the back of the dock, there are two display ports, one HDMI, one USB-C with display port capability, two USB, Ethernet, power adapter, two more USB-C, and another USB-C and USB port on the front. For this setup, I'm using a display port cable to connect to my monitor, along with a USB cable for the monitor's USB peripherals, Ethernet, and power cables. To save one of the dock's USB ports, I'm connecting the mouse USB to one of the ports on the monitor, with the keyboard's USB going to the dock. When connecting a Windows or Mac OS laptop, it should be plug and play, however depending on how your monitors are configured, you may need to adjust the arrangement. On Windows, you can do this by right clicking on the desktop and select display settings. If the displays are being mirrored, expand the pull down menu showing duplicate these displays and select extend these displays. After selecting that option, you should be able to arrange the displays to suit your needs. On macOS, it should be similar, however, you will most likely be prompted by macOS to allow the dock to connect. You may also be prompted with a keyboard pop up as well, which is fairly straightforward. To adjust the arrangement, you will need to go into System Settings under Displays. Click on the Arrange button and you should be able to arrange your displays as needed, then just click the Done button to complete the process. One last thing to note, if you don't want the dual screen option, you should be able to close the lid of your Windows or Mac OS devices and use the monitor as a single display option. At the end of the day, it depends on your needs and what fits your workflow. Leave us a comment if you have any questions with your doc setups, and if you want more content like this, consider giving us a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, we'll catch you in the next one.